How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Tuesday Tools. For this week, I'm gonna be looking at an After Effects plugin called Digit Fiddler. This tool makes it really easy to work with numbers inside of Adobe After Effects, whether you're making infographics, whether you're doing like countdown timers, whatever it is, this is really gonna help you out. So I've teamed up with the creators over at Plugin Everything. We're gonna be giving away five copies of this. So if you wanna enter for your chance to win, just follow the link in the description and that contest is gonna run through June 15th, 2019. So occasionally I'll find myself creating infographics inside of Adobe After Effects. And while these are usually very basic, they oftentimes require some expressions. And I, for one, do not like expressions. I don't understand JavaScript. I just find them to be a real headache. So this is why I want to show you this Digit Fiddler plugin. This is going to help you avoid creating many, many expressions. So now in this example, I'm going to show you how we can connect this vertical bar graph animation to a text element. And first we're gonna do it using a basic expression. And then I'm gonna show you how we can recreate it using Digit Fiddler. And you're gonna see how much better it is with the plugin. All right, let me give you a closer look at what I've got going on here. So this bar graph element is simply a line path. And it starts at the bottom, goes to the top. And if you open it up here, I've added a trim paths animator. And I've animated the end property to go from zero to 75 and then back down to zero. You can see if it goes up to 100, it'll be at the top of the graph. That's the way I designed it. Now, I'm gonna grab the text tool, put a new text layer here, and to link these together, I'm gonna to open up and find the source text, and now all I need to do is grab the pick whip of this and connect it to my end attribute. But now you'll immediately see we have a problem here, and that's the fact that we have all these crazy decimal numbers. It is in fact animating from zero to 75, but with these crazy, crazy decimal numbers. And to get rid of these, we'd have to use expressions. So let me show you how that works. I could go down to the end attribute, and we will basically round these numbers off so that as it you know, drives this information, we want it to be in round numbers and not decimals. So to do that, I'm gonna alt click the end attribute, and I'll go over to the expression language menu, go to JavaScript math, and then there's a math.round value. Simply click on that. And as I click off, now we can see, if I play this back, that those are rounded numbers. But if you didn't know that that's what you're supposed to do, you know, how do you know how to apply that without doing some research online? And I don't really like having to rely on that, having to go and Google something and try to find the code and then drop the code in there. Because then if you have some problems with this JavaScript or you wanna modify it, it's like impossible unless you understand the script. So that's where this plugin comes in and we'll be able to modify it and customize it to our heart's desire. So now I'm gonna go ahead and recreate this using Digit Fiddler. Okay, so I've got the new sequence here without the text element and I have Digit Fiddler installed. So I'm gonna to go to the Effects and Presets panel here, and I'm gonna type in Digit Fiddler, and I have the latest version here. Now to create a new text element with the effect applied, all I need to do is grab this effect and simply drag it and drop it in the comp panel. And there we go. I have my new text element here with the effect applied here. Now, Digit Fiddler has two different modes. It has numbers mode, and it has time mode. So first, we're mainly gonna focus on numbers mode, but at the end, I will take you quickly through time mode. You can see all of the properties we have available and all the cool things you can do in time mode. Okay, now the first thing I wanna do is I wanna link this back up because right now we can see our graph animating and the numbers are not linked up. So actually, let me just scale this up a tad. So what I need to do is I'm gonna go down here to the timeline. I'm gonna open up this text layer, open up effects and digit fiddler. And now I'm gonna go down to my bar graph. I'm gonna hit the U key so we can see the keyframes. We have our end attribute of our trim paths animator. Now I'm gonna link up this number property from digit fiddler. I'm gonna grab the pick whip and I'm gonna link it up to the end attribute just like I did with the source text. And now there we go. I have my number linked up to my animator here. And as you can see, it automatically rounds it off. We don't have any decimal places or any crazy stuff going on that we need to fix. To make this a little bit easier to understand, I'm going to change the animation from zero to 75 over to zero to 100. So that this, this graph is gonna go from zero to 100. There we go. So if we look here, the first attribute is multiplier. That's the reason I switched this to 100, so it's a little bit easier to understand. So I can immediately, you know, multiply this these values by two. So now our graph is gonna go from zero to 200. 
and if we take it to 50%, that's obviously going to be, you know, right at 100. And I can multiply it whatever I want. Let's say we want it to go from 0 to 500. Simple. It's a quick way we can change that. Let's bring that back down to 1. Now let's say that this is going to be some kind of currency value. So we want to see some decimal places. Well, I can go over here to this decimal places attribute and just hit 2, and that's going to add two decimal places. OK, I'm going to set back, back down to 0. Now, integer batting is essentially, you know, as these animate up, let's say we want three digits up all at all times. So I can type in three. Now we're going to have zeros. So we have zero, 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 and then it'll go up to 100 with all of those digits visible at all times. I can specify both the separator and the decimal symbols. So let's say, for instance, that we had two decimal places. And we're in Europe, so we're using Euro, so we would use the comma instead of a dot. Now, let's go back and switch that to dot. Let's say we're doing American, you know, the US dollar. So I'm going to double click here on my text element, and then I'm going to simply type in the dollar sign. And now you can see that it automatically places it over here. Well, there's an attribute for that too, their custom text placement. I can move that over to the right if I want. So let's say um, we're not doing currency, we are doing percent. So what I would want to do here is I'm going to take out the decimals and I'm going to double click and then I'm going to type in the percent symbol and voila, now I've got percent and everything's looking good. Now sometimes when you have these animating, certain digits will drift. That's what this monospacing section is for. You can enable this if you're having any kind of crazy drift and you can specify exactly where you want each digit to be and kind of lock it into place. Now, if you are a fan of expressions and you do want to use them, this uh, plugin has the capability to apply those expressions. Okay, so that is numbers mode. Very, very cool and very, very versatile. Now, let's take a quick look at time mode. So, let's say we want to create a timer. This comp is three seconds in length, so we want to have a timer uh, counting down or counting up, something in the lower hand corner here. So, to do that, I'm going to go over to effects and presets, grab this effect again, simply drag and drop in the comp. I'll bring this down to the lower left hand corner here. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over to my Digit Fiddler plugin and select Time. And now you can see it's set in Time mode. Now if we take a closer look here, we have the Time attribute instead of Numbers. And let's say we want to do 3 seconds, so we're going to type in 3. And the Time multiplier is already set into Seconds, so if you look over here, we have hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. And down under here, under formatting, we can turn these off and on as well. Very, very cool. But if I wanted to do three minutes, just change this multiplier to minutes. If I wanted to do three hours, just change that to hours. Very, very cool. So I'm going to set that back to seconds. And now let's say we want it to count down from three seconds to zero. So I'm going to keyframe time at the beginning, go to the end, and set that to zero. And now we have our timer that's counting down. Now let's say we, uh, you know, we want to format this. We don't need all of this. We don't need hours. We don't need minutes. And we don't, under style, let's say we don't need the padding. So this, the padding is this zero here. I'm going to turn that off. And if we don't want the colon, you know, we can turn that off. But I'm actually going to leave that on. Now let's say we actually had the word seconds. I'm going to type that in, and we actually want to scale this down even more. And I can put that, you know, to the right or to the left. Let's keep it on the left. There we go. We've got our little timer now. Let's go ahead and delete that actually. So now the same thing applies with time mode. You have monospacing features and you can apply expressions. Okay, so there you have it. That's Digit Fiddler from Plugin Everything. Really great tool that's gonna allow you to sidestep those expressions when you're working with numbers inside of Adobe After Effects. Once again, I'm giving away five of these for free. If you wanna follow the link in the description to enter that giveaway, that will end on June 15th, 2019. And if you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next Tuesday.